Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MacTube. In this video, we are going to discuss about the gamma distribution. Okay, point number one, gamma distribution is a special case of continuous distribution. Look at this, we have classified the distributions into two parts, discrete and continuous. And then we learned about the general cases, both in discrete and continuous. And we learned how to find the probability in discrete by adding stuff and also in continuous by doing integration. So remember, in continuous scenarios, probability will be found by integration. But normal distribution was an exception because they already provide the normal, different, uh, normal table so that you don't have to integrate again and again and again. Anyway, in gamma distribution, you'll have to face integration. Sometimes you'll be able to do the integration with the help of your calculator because your calculator can do finite integrals. Okay, so as always in all the distributions, you have to by heart the probability function. And second thing you have to understand, gamma distribution depends on two parameters, A alpha and beta. And the mean is given by alpha into beta and variance is given by alpha into beta squared and similarly in normal distribution i hope you remember normal de distribution depends on mu and sigma mu stands for the mean and sigma stands for the um, uh, what you call standard deviation similarly this alpha and beta will decide the shape of the gamma function anyway um, you have to buy heart the gamma distribution. Okay, and if you want to do the problems, you should remember the gamma function which you learned in your first semester engineering. Anyway, if you want to find gamma for a positive integer value, then things are very easy. You have to find n minus 1 factorial. At the same time, if you are interested in gamma function, where n is a positive number, like 1 by 2, 7 by 5, um, what do you call any positive number, then we use the reduction formula n minus 1 gamma n minus 1. And in first semester, you learned a lot of problems where you had fractions with divided by 2. And if you want to do such problems, you should always remember gamma 1 by 2 is root pi. And another important thing, suppose you want to evaluate gamma 7, it's a positive integer, so the answer is 6 factorial, you can find this using a calculator. Or you can do 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Okay, but at the same time, if you have something like gamma 7 by 2, then the method is you reduce 1 from here, 7 by 2 minus 1, then 5 by 2 minus 1 then 3 by 2 minus 1 and every time you will reach 1 by 2 and after that you put root pi gamma 11 by 2 so you start with 11 by 2 minus 1 again minus 1 again minus 1 again minus 1 and as i promised you will always reach 1 by 2 and after that you put root pi okay that's more than enough and a small list of applications. Look at this. Gamma distribution is used to model. Look at this. Long back itself I told you. Many things in our universe are following patterns. And to be honest, in the simulated world theory, in the simulated universe theory, we believe that everything is like a computer program. Or everything works like a clockwork. No one knows who programmed. But still, many of the... Uh, what do you call scientists believe that everything is ac working according to a certain pattern and for the last hundreds and hundreds of years we are trying to observe and we are trying to find a mathematical explanation because math is supposed to be the language of universe anyway um, scientists have observed that the what do you call the amount of electricity used by a certain community the amount of fuel used by a certain community, the amount of water consumed in a certain city, 
and here two more examples are here all these things follow gamma distribution even the life of um, your mobile phones the machines etc etc are supposed to follow gamma distribution and in medical field some people claim that the amount of time uh, a cancer patient might live after being diagnosed with cancer also follows the gamma pattern so basically this distribution is observed in many many uh, places involving life of materials and even life of human beings etc etc okay now let's move on to the problem because it's exam time for you so i'm sure you want to know how to work out the problems okay so normally normally they ask very simple questions but i don't know what are they going to ask in the next exam in a certain city the daily consumption of water follows a gamma distribution i don't know if you remember or not in normal distribution i told you one of the best things i love about continuous distributions is they always specify the distribution you don't have to wonder whether it follows like what you call in discrete you have to always think is it binomial is it negative binomial is it hypergeometric but in continuous one of, uh, one of the best things is like what you call the distribution will be mentioned and of course the parameters are also given if the daily capacity of the cities that means they can provide 9 million gallons of water and the question is they are asking when will this water supply become insufficient come on think about it the city can supply up to 9 million gallons of water so when will, when will it become insufficient when will it become inadequate of course when the requirement which i am denoting it by capital x the consumption i am denoting by capital x goes beyond 9 one last time let me repeat you can think like this you have 1000 rupees in your pocket and you're planning to go for a shopping when will that amount become insufficient of course when you're planning to buy something which cost more than 1000 rupees okay similarly the city can supply up to 9 million gallons of water and that means if the demand or the consumption goes beyond 9 it will be inadequate okay now look at this these problems are very easy to solve if you um, know a little bit of integration and if you do not know integration uh, you can screenshot this I'll show you one method which might be helpful for you okay it is called Bernoulli's method for product and I'm sure that when you learned um, Fourier series in your last semester you might have seen this okay that is integral u into v it is something like product rule and it works really good when you have polynomial into sign or polynomial into cos or polynomial into exponential so you can take a look at the method first function integrate the second minus derivative of the first function and integral of the stuff inside the bracket can you see u v bar so if you look at the pattern of u you can see we keep on differentiating differentiating till it vanishes and you know that a polynomial will vanish if you keep on differentiating it again and again and again when it crosses the degree for example if you have x square x square will become 2x and 2x will become 2 and then it becomes 0 okay so we can screenshot this method and let's go back to the problem okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write the gamma distribution function you had to buy heart this formula there is no other shortcut okay so you can plug in uh, beta value alpha value simplify and remember gamma alpha is gamma 2 and gamma 2 is 1 factorial which is 1 anyway I end up with probability of x equal to x being that is 
this is the probability of consumption x stands for the consumption now what is the required probability probability x greater than 9 now look at this x greater than 9 means you have to integrate from 9 to infinity because if I ask you can you list all the numbers beyond 9 can you tell me all the numbers more than 9 of course it can be any number from 9 to positive infinity so you can do the integration 9 to infinity 1 by 9 x e power minus x by 3 uh, using uh, Bernoulli's method or any method but your calculator cannot be used because you cannot put infinity in your calculator and what I did here is in order to use the calculator I converted it do you remember the trick you can convert probabilities into the reverse symbol and you can put 1 minus ah 1 minus x less than 9 that means 0 to 9 of course there won't be negative consumption you are not going to produce water in your home and supply to the main supply uh, it, uh, uh, currently I don't think such things happen so this is the required probability and I'll show you one more problem okay this is another question that was asked in your previous year's question paper in Kathmandu city the daily consumption of electric power etc etc can be treated with etc alpha beta they are asking you to find expectation and standard deviation that's pretty easy expectation is alpha into beta and standard deviation is alpha beta square so let x be the consumption etc 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 the required probability because inadequate means the supply look at this they can supply up to 12 million kilowatt hour so it becomes insufficient if the demand will be more than 12 and that's it you can test with your integration skill or you can use a calculator anyhow find the answer expectation is alpha into beta variance is alpha beta square so keep on watching keep on understanding the subject and the most important thing take a pen paper and practice a lot of problems uh, i'll be back with other videos so till then my friends bye